What are you looking for in, in the second preseason game tomorrow? Uh, just for us to be better uh, as a unit, especially on defense. I mean, I think we gave up 20, 24 transition points last game, obviously. Uh, that's what Toronto does, but uh, for us, that's a point of emphasis that we need to do that. Malik was talking a ton about how the second group knows doesn't concern you as much, but the second group needs to build chemistry. How, how are you seeing the chemistry come along with some of the, the new guys that you added this offseason? Uh, it's definitely coming. Obviously, that takes a little bit of time, but uh, I think he's wrong because I play a lot with him. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure how the rotations will be, but last year I did play a lot with the, with the second group. But um, no, I think... It works both ways, obviously, because we, we play so much through the big. Um, that person has so much command of the offense, so obviously with Javel being new um, and him not playing with anybody that's been over here, um, it's definitely a learning curve. What is, kind of things? Is there anything you can do to expedite building chemistry? Is that something that just takes time? I mean, that's something that, that, that just takes time. Um, as of right now, I feel like guys enjoy being around each other, um, enjoy being on the court together. but. Um, with the way that our offense runs and you need to understand tendencies of each other, uh, that definitely takes a little bit of time to build. What were Mike's biggest points of emphasis coming out of the game against Toronto? Uh, the transition baskets, really us getting back. I think that was that was a big thing. And then just really uh, keeping the ball in front of us, I think. Um, I'm not sure how many threes they made. Pretty sure Gary Trent probably made half of them. Um, so for us, we know that we have to keep the ball out of the paint. Now, aside from the things that you just said you guys can improve on, what do you look at as positive or good from what you saw with this team? Uh, I mean, specifically for, for the first group, I think we came out strong. Um, I don't think we particularly finished a half well, but um, I think at the beginning of the game, I think we got stops. I think we got out in transition. We got easy baskets. Um, we touched the paint just about every possession when we were first in the game. Um, but that's something that we have to continue to do. Um, necessarily work on because that's that's the way that we play we, we try to get up and down the court uh, so especially whenever we're getting stops I think our offense looks that much better you, you, know, you said uh, you were talking about a uh, tendency just a second ago and that <clears throat> pretty much applies to uh, the second unit too you know since they got new people in with Chris. yeah yeah that's that's what I was talking about because uh with like I said with JaVale and we, we play so much through our big um obviously Malik and Davion <clears throat> and Trey haven't played with JaVale or, or, or Chris and then Chris hasn't played with any of those of those, of those guys and uh, Javel hasn't played with anybody either, uh, and the way that we move the ball, the way that we, you know, cut off of each other, that takes time to build. So when, whenever you haven't played with someone, you don't understand their game just yet, and uh, it takes a little bit. Of, it takes a little bit to really learn each other, and when guys want to cut, um, when someone drives where they want you to be, that takes time. Because of that, do you try not to be too critical over over one performance? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, bad? definitely. Um, not the preseason game. I mean. That's what you're. That's what you're playing preseason games to, to do to work on that. What do you, you think of the potential of uh, Javale and, and Malik as a pick and roll duo? I mean, Malik is one of the best pick and roll guys in the league, and Javale is a extreme vertical threat. So I think that that does nothing but but help obviously Malik and uh, and, it, and helps us as a whole. Um, when when Javale is rolling, I mean, guys have to tag him, or else it's going to be a lob fest the rest of the, the entire game. So. That, that makes our offense even that much more dynamic. When We're you get the preseason games going, the, the schedule almost kind of feels a little bit more like it does during the season. From that standpoint, does much change in your practices and your preparations? No. Uh, I mean, this is the most time, this is the most amount of practice you can really have throughout the season. So you try to get in as much as possible because as games start getting rolling, you start having back-to-backs, five and sevens. Um, you don't have that much time, especially not to go live. So uh, this is... This is the most amount of practice you're, that you're going to be able to get for the year. Yeah, and we saw a lot of cuts, a lot of like motion to the basket. Is that just like the next level of the offense that you guys had from last season? Yeah, um, a few things changed. Uh, Jay came back, you know, said some things that that he didn't like about it, um, and they obviously the coaches talked about it. They changed a few things, so uh, that's still a work in progress as well. But uh, for us, we're really kind of we're not learning a new offense, but we're learning a few new wrinkles into our offense and. Um, I mean, I think in practice it's, it's looked well, so uh, we just have to have that carry over into the game. You worked with Keegan a lot during the summer, and now his first preseason game. I'm curious what you thought about what he was able to do uh, in that first game. Uh, I think it was good. I, I told him he better not let Pascal just take the ball from like that again at half court. Um, <laughs> but no, I think he was a little bit more comfortable um, playing off the bounds, getting to the basket. Um, just his overall aggressive level, I feel like, has gone up, and uh, that's what we want out of him. He shoots the ball so well. He's so efficient at what he do, at what he already does. Uh, we just want to be able to expand his game a little bit more. He played, played, a, guys. played a couple minutes next to Davion. How have you seen him grow as a shooter, and how much does that help when you guys share the floor? Yeah, I mean, that's the work that he's put in. Um, I feel like that makes 
makes us more dynamic whenever you can have two guy two guys on the floor um, who can who can beat you off the dribble, create for others, create their own shot, um, and then defensively just be able to pick up and get after each other. So uh, and get after other people. So um, with us being able to share the floor as much as possible, I think I think it does great things for us. What kind of progress are you looking for tomorrow in Game Two against the Lakers? Uh, for us, just what we're doing defensively, and then just the new wrinkles in our offense. Uh, try to cut down on turnovers. Obviously, I think we missed a lot of bunnies last game. Um, not necessarily working, worried about that. Uh, but then defensively, uh, the Lakers are one of the best transition teams in the league as well. So uh, how do we look as far as trying not to commit turnovers, not to give them easy baskets, and then even on a make or miss shot, us getting back and just being able to guard the rim. Thank you, guys.